Hey you guys, this is your girl Iris P and I'm on set at Mic Check with my girl Stylist B. Mic Check with 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 Stylist B. continue to bring you the latest and greatest and today I'm super excited to sit down with a talent a friend a colleague she's a singer-songwriter Miss Iris P. How you doing? I've been good. You've been busy. Is yeah. What you've been. Very busy. <laughs> well Very first busy. of all thank you for stopping in and putting us on your schedule. Before we get started I always like for my guests to look into the camera introduce yourself and what you do. So what's up everybody? My name is Iris P. It stands for I Reached, I Survived, Pore is my last name. And I've been writing songs a very long time. I started when I was little. So I'm still continuing on my journey and my purpose from the most high. So if you love my music and you love what I'm doing, then that's what I'm here for. I love it. And so side note, I remember you telling me what Iris P. stood for a long time ago. But every time I hear it, it feels like something new like it, it hits me in a new way each time that I hear yes, it yes. tell me how you came up with Iris B um well let me sip see she about to give us all <laughs> so I can't even say tea we've been drinking a little red wine you know a little something more because we've been talking about like some heavy stuff some light stuff and really just kind of having a sisterhood amongst us and so I'm gonna sip and you drink and you talk I'm sorry I'm gonna sip and you talk so, uh, my daughter used to go to a daycare mm -hmm. on Iris and uh, Wisteria, and Miss Diane was like another mom to me. Okay. And um, when I first did my first uh, musical contract, it was like, you need a name. I'm like, I need a name, but my name Kathy. Right. You know, and they like. I got a name. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and it was like, no, you need to represent something. Like, what you like and what you, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm like. I go through a lot, and no matter what, I keep going. Yeah. And if I'm, if I keep going, then I'm not going down. Because yeah. if you're going down, that's easy, you know. So I'm like, I survived. Like, mm -hmm. being without my mom, um, I could have been like a lot of my friends. Like, yeah. a lot of my friends uh, passed on early in age, and um, by then, when I wanted to be Iris, um, I'm like, let me break it down, okay. Um, my mom, sister, her name is Iris. Okay. Right? That was my favorite aunt. I met okay. her like twice, but she was so beautiful. I was like. Some people just come into your life and like, you know, impact right. you. As a kid, so I always liked the name. And then I was like, I'm more than just pretty, you know? Yeah. I've been through a lot. And um, like at 14, I was almost awarded a state, um, and so when I uh, reunited with my mom again, that was like winning. That was like surviving mm -hmm. because I could have like forever stayed away from her, like yeah. never see her again. So I thought about that. Um, so she was like a big impact on my life, my mm -hmm. mom. At that time, I had just lost her, like, uh, she passed on, so I'm still going to survive. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, they got people that lose their mom, you know, and it's not easy. Yeah. You know, it's something that you have to go through to understand it. And at the time, I was very new to it. Yeah. I didn't understand it. I just knew I had to follow her words and survive. Yeah. Right. So, I broke it down, and I'm like, I'm poetic. So let me make this like a short poem. Mm -hmm. I reached, I survived. And I'm like, Iris is cool, but I need a little um to a little it. Accent. You know, like, uh. little punchline. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, my family porres on my dad's side, um, I think they're very unique people. Mm -hmm. Um, my grand my grandmother's dad is from India. Okay. Calcutta. And they, they're like weird, but they're cool people. Mm -hmm. Like I just like their culture. So um, they pretty much married that culture with Creole, mm -hmm. and they're like weird people, but they're very cool. Um, 
So I'm a poor rate. I'm weird. I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, that's where I came from. When I, I came up with that title, um, I didn't go through half of the stuff I w- I've been through. Mm-hmm. So now to hear that title again, it's like, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I re- <laughs> Like, you know, the older people that run around the church, that's me right now. Yeah. I reached. Mm-hmm. I have got thank you. Yeah. You know, so you're right about that. Every time I hear it, it's just bigger and bigger to yeah. me. Yeah. I agree. I mean, I, I, I felt that when you said it. I was like, I, and it was like, I've heard it before, but when you said it to me, like I said, it feels new each time. But I also think because of life, right? Life brings new challenges, new struggles, new, you know, things that you're going to, obstacles you're gonna have to overcome right Mm -hmm. so for you that name just becomes to me more powerful each year each month each day um, because you continue to reach and you continue to survive and I think all of it is needed so I'm like no don't shorten it because I think that's so significant you know what I mean Um, and I also think too like sometimes we do something and don't even realize the full purpose of it Mm -hmm. until later so you just say they say give you a name and you like oh her name I have a name and so approaching it initially like I wanted to be meaningful but then living it and it was who you were you know what I mean it is who you are so you have such a unique story Iris you know I like I say that all the time like you're so strong and you're so motivated and you're so driven and I think if you just listen to your music and if you just see you know your videos or even now the plays that you've done and the musicals um, you would see someone that's a performer, but you might not know that she she's a fighter, you know? Mm-hmm. So I love that you shared that with my audience. It's hard to start off so heavy as soon as we get in, but you need that. That's life. Like, life is not always, like, you know, um, you know, I'm, I, I'm called Kitty because I like cats, and you know what I mean? And, oh, all oh, cats are cool. Like, it's not, that's just not the, the world we live in. So I applaud people like you, you know, and I applaud you taking the time to find you know, the title that's going to be significant to you. And then now honing that and living that truth and continuing to reach and continuing to survive. So in your music, because you've been doing music for a long time, like you said, writing and singing since you were a kid. And I know before you mentioned your mom sung too, so that has to be meaningful. Um, So when, at what point did you decide, let me make this like the thing that I'm doing? Um, I would say, well, I I, uh, initially started in 2007 mm-hmm. like yo I told my fine baby daddy <laughs> okay like, fine yeah, baby I'm, daddy yes I was like I'm an artist <laughs> now you wanna listen to my CD <laughs> and stuff like that and I had like a confused mother song and my daughter used to be in his back seat like I love my baby daddy and he like you know, it was cute <laughs> but you know I was like yeah at first like this me like this is what I'm gonna do but um he passed in 08 um, he was murdered in New Orleans, and that totally knocked me down off my little high horse that I was on. Yeah. And I started to uh, personally go through a transition of understanding life. Mm-hmm. Like, life ending, does life continue? Can you be spiritually connected to somebody yeah. once they pass on? Like, I went to going into... What, what is what is this all about? Yeah. Because um, he was one to uh, write me mm-hmm. when I had nobody to write me um, at 14. My family didn't write me. Nobody wrote me but him. Like, we were really close. And um, he was really close with my mom. And those two were two people that I wanted to impress. Mm-hmm. I wanted them to be proud of me. I wanted them to understand I changed into a better person. So. Okay, take your time. See, now I'm about to get up because I know we. Commercial. Commercial. Yeah, we're going to come right back with a commercial break because I got to love all my guests, okay? We'll be right back. Come here. Baby, yeah. I got a lot of issues, you what I need They don't know how 
check with me the one and only stylist B we had to take a brief commercial break because sometimes it gets real and that's really what we're wanting to bring you when we sit down and have real conversations with these really successful people there it isn't all um, easy breezy sometimes it's hard work sometimes it's pain sometimes it's heartache and so we're being very candid with you today and so we're hoping that that encourages and inspires all our viewers and I appreciate you for being so open with you know everything that you've been through and I'm sure that there are tons of artists, professionals, entrepreneurs, mothers, women who are thanking you for just continuing to share your story and continuing to reach and survive. Um, so we were talking about you getting into music and when you first started you did have a support system and you're fine baby daddy. Okay. Yes. <laughs> we gotta see a picture of him. <laughs> but um, you know after losing him that shook your, your whole world and so once again you were being Iris just reaching and surviving so um, after losing him, how do you continue to do your music and commit to, you know, your career, your dream? Mm -hmm. So, um, at that time, I was like, you know what, I got to apply all the things he taught me mm -hmm. and, like, you know, be strong for our daughter. Mm -hmm. And I also had to show my daughter, like, no matter what, accomplish your goals, yeah. you know. And I just went, like, head first, bam, never rest. Yeah. I have never rested through whatever y'all heard about me in New Orleans or whatever. I have never rested from none of that. I yeah. just kept going and going and going and going. Yeah. So I finally got a chance to rest. It was like uh, February, mm -hmm. the end of February. Um, you know, I was on bed rest for like three weeks, and um, I had to. Now this cause, is this because of the baby? Um. Yeah. Because you had a newborn. I had a lot going on. Yes, and. Speaking as a mother, right? Mm -hmm. You know, we be like, "Oh, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna have the baby." Like it's a one day thing. I'm gonna have the baby, and then I can go back to set. So it's it's really taxing when you have a plan of what you're going to do, and then your body's like, "Nope, nope, we need more time." Mm -hmm. So, but I'm glad you were able to get the rest. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you three weeks bed rest. Yeah. Um. You know that that finally got me to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, two today. So, um, going back when uh, you was telling me about a. Uh, the music thing, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, y'all saw me for issues. Mm -hmm. I wrote that song when I was pregnant with my son, Trevon, and he was born nine months after Kia's dad um, passed away. Okay. And he was like my blessing to mm -hmm. take care of my body, um, to, you know, because before um, I found out I was pregnant with Trevon, I was, it, it hit me so hard. Mm -hmm. He is um, dead that, you know, I was like drinking every day. Then we in NOLA, so it's drive through drinks. Yeah. Uh, it's very day easily party accessible, drinks, right. Uh, you know, just all day. And in the midst of me, like, trying to numb my feelings or how mm -hmm. I really feel about the situation, um, I went heavy into the studio. Right. You know, um, and I was just determined, mm -hmm. you know, but Trevon instantly slowed me down, like, yo. It's real life. You got to deal with what's mm -hmm. going on. And uh, I remember I was like eight months. And um, I'm like, I'm about to lose my dude, Trevon Dad. I'm like, you know, my friends are leaving me. They think I'm miserable because I cry all day because mm -hmm. I'm, you know, Still I'm not morning, thinking the same right. yet. And um, I didn't really have nobody close to me, you mm -hmm. know, at the time. Um, 
that I could really talk to. You know, I had to be mama uh, to Kia and, you know, make sure she's okay. Right. But in the midst, I was not okay. Yeah. You know, and um, so, yeah, eight months pregnant, I go to the studio, and I'm like, I just got to get something off my chest. Mm -hmm. And I hear uh, Skyfer and Jason Neville just playing around the studio. Mm -hmm. dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I like that. Dun, 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 dun. Right there. Um, <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Add this, add this. And they making a beat. I'm like, okay, I'm here for that. I got a lot of issues, got a lot of issues dealing with me. Mm. Got a lot of issues, got a lot of issues. You're what I need. Right? Mm -hmm. So, that song was a just casually right. gonna throw that out there and say right, cause you, you sound beautiful. I'm just saying, you know, right? You know, that's how you sing it, and then right? No, no, that's vocally talented. But go ahead. So um, that song came about from a freestyle, mm -hmm. and uh, that was really how I was feeling. I was like, man, what my dude don't know could hurt him. I try to hold him down, but I can't because I'm hurting. Mm -hmm. Like that particular phrase, like, was yeah for me. You yeah. know, because as much as I love uh, Travon's dad trying to be there with him, my heart was just yeah. torn, you know. And um, when people are hurt, they hurt people, you feel me? And I wasn't there, I felt like, all the way to really love him and have mm -hmm. a healthy relationship. So uh, we broke up and everything. And then I'm like, okay, well, I'm back, right? Well, you, gonna, you still going to be gone? Okay, cool. <laughs> so I moved on from that situation. I started writing about relationships and how to keep one and how to mm -hmm. love a man. And, you know, just wanted to soften my feelings up because I felt like it was my fault. Um, a lot of um, people, I don't know if y'all are like me, but um, I used to be the type of person to want to be with somebody else to get over somebody. Okay. Right? I mean, that's common. I see a lot of women do that. And men. I see a lot of people do mm -hmm. that. So, um, in order for me to get away from it all, I say yes to uh, someone I have been knowing um, since like 13. Mm -hmm. And I got uh, engaged over the phone. Okay. I know that's kind of weird. <laughs> you know. Um, but we read uh, scriptures from the Bible every day before mm -hmm. this happened. For about uh, two years mm -hmm. or so. And I thought all my problems was gone. I was like, see y'all later, New Orleans. I'm gone. Bam. That's it. Going to get married. I'm a woman now. I was a woman. <laughs> and uh, I went out there. My marriage lasts like almost a year. And I was so embarrassed to come back home. I ain't tell none of my customers. I came back. Yeah, I do have mm -hmm. licensed cosmetologists. And um, I didn't tell nobody I came back. I was just like, you know what? Full-time music. Because yeah. I'm going to show him that I am who I said I am. Mm -hmm. You know, I was a great housewife, but my heart was like, but I do the music stuff too. Yeah. You want to come with me? Because I'm about to fly to New Orleans and go do my show. Like, that's yeah. how it was, you know. But, y'all, it was like. I would cry a lot just thinking to myself, this nigga sent me back to hell. Mm -hmm. I looked at New Orleans like hell because, you know, well, I don't know if y'all heard this, but I've heard that the devil is like everything you want it to be as a like vision or yeah. image or, you know, whatever. To tempt you. Yeah, and I thought New Orleans was like so beautiful and the people were so beautiful and like so many people say they love me. But it was like I was running into crazy people, mm -hmm. just people who were weird, people who wanted to change me. I had like a lot of different managers at the time, like mm -hmm. just trying to figure out what am I doing, like yeah. what's next, what's next, you know. And some of those managers was weird, you know, weirder than me, <laughs> you know. Um, they had one of them. I'm not going to say no names because we don't say names in New Orleans. We don't. <laughs> but, but half the time we know who we talking about. <laughs> so, <laughs> so y'all, I'm doing this big old show. I got big supporters there. I got all type of people there. 
And, you know, I'm like, this is what's up. You know, he doing mm -hmm. his job. I'm seeing him, you know, walk around. I'm like, cool. Next thing you know, after I'm done singing, I won't run into my people. I won't hug them. I won't embrace New Orleans. Like, right. I love everybody. I date everybody. I'm not dating just one person. Mm -hmm. Like, whoever I'm with, you got to understand. I belong to New Orleans when I walk out the door. Mm -hmm. Okay? People know me. I don't know them. So, you got to know that. So, anyway, um, I finished singing and I want to hug everybody. I like hugs. He, uh, let me show you what he did. I ain't gonna do too much of it. Okay. <laughs> but I'm mingling, you know. He come walk up. Iris, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm talking to everybody. Right. You're supposed to be like Beyonce. What you think you're doing? I'm like, what? Like, what? I'm just, I'm, I'm well, New Orleans what? wouldn't even receive that, though. That's the thing. Like, you know what city you're in. You know they want to feel love. They want to be embraced. They want to feel like they know you, like they're a friend, a cousin, a sister. And so sitting back and not even interacting with them is weird. I ain't do it right. I want like he really did it in a funny way. Yeah. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I laughed when he did the walk, but I didn't know if I was supposed to laugh because it might have been like, you know what I'm saying? It might have been rude or mean. So, but I did laugh when you did the walk. <laughs> like, why is he walking up so hard? <laughs> That boy did an L turn on me, yo. <laughs> That's so good. That boy was, like, he was like a robot. It was just funny, like. But anyway, that's one of my funniest manager stories, like, oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. That's okay. The point is, you've been through a lot with managers and people, and I can understand why New Orleans would not feel like home anymore because it also took so much from you. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, and even in the people you interact with, so mm -hmm. like I understand how it could be like. I can't believe I'm back here. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, but obviously, I've seen that music has saved you, has kept you sane, and that's mm -hmm. like I think the moral of it all is when you know what you're supposed to be doing with your life, no matter where it takes you, no matter what you're going through. Like, you'll always find a way to survive it all when you're doing what you were put here to do, mm -hmm. you know? Which is why, like you said, the marriage didn't work because, yeah, you were a great housewife, but that's not all you were put here to, to do and be, mm -hmm. you know? And so the moment I think that you continue to be true to yourself and what Iris needs and wants, you know, is when things start to get better, right? Mm -hmm. So you, you come back here, you're a little bit heartbroken, but now you're committed to the music. Well, yes. How do you turn things around to be, you know, the successful Iris that you are now? Um, well, first, I want to thank EGMG, because that's my dogs, you know, okay. my baby. They really, like, instantly overnight up to me, mm -hmm. you feel me? And uh, from there, I just use, like, what I know yeah. about me to go forward. I've failed more than I've succeeded. So if you think I'm winning out you, I did a lot of losing out you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and sometimes you got to lose to win again. Mm -hmm. And did you say that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. She actually sang it. It was a little raspy. But you know, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. And I, I love that song. At first, I didn't really love it that much, but man, man, man. That message. Because at first, I didn't mm -hmm. love it. That, that's either here nor there. But it was too much rasp for me. Mm -hmm. and I, I, like, for me. And I love Fantasia, so yeah. please, you know, don't come for me. I love, love, love. Like, Truth Is was my, my stuff, and I can think of all the other songs that I love by her, but that song, initially when I heard it, it was just a little bit too much, but then when I heard the words, I felt like that's why it was too much. Yes. Because yes. she was losing yeah. to winning. She's been mm -hmm. through some stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. And so, I think we all can relate, like, people have no idea what's happening behind closed doors, what you mm -hmm. have to endure to get those five minutes on the stage, you know, mm -hmm. those 30-minute um, interviews, those Essence or Jazz Fest, mm -hmm. you know, spotlights. Like, people have no idea. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why that song eventually was so powerful in the message itself. Sometimes you got to lose to win again. Yeah. But the point is, like you just said, you'll never quit, so you always going to win again. Mm -hmm. And at, at some point in your life, I promise you, and you remember we said this, you will have more wins than losses bet like as long as you keep pushing as long as you keep going as long as you keep trying and always finding moments to continue to be true because a lot of like you said what you went through if you remember you were so young mm -hmm. you know what I mean you what were so I was young this when I was you were so and that's something I want yes. the audience to know it wasn't like you were just out here head first you were a baby mm -hmm. going through these things with no mother you know what I'm saying so it's hard even if you have other adults in your life to really tell you what to do mm -hmm. because 
the closest person to you is gone. So you out here just trying to figure it out, you know. Mm -hmm. But you've come into your own. You have a beautiful daughter. She's like the spinning image of you and Shout she's so Kim. sweet <laughs> and talented mm -hmm. you know and now and you have your boys you know so you i feel like even though they're seeing you cry but i know what those tears are it's not tears of like defeat mm -hmm. it's just tears of like dang like i really been through some stuff because i know for a fact when i first said hearing you say that it was like hearing you say it again i know it hit you differently like because it's that idea of like man I've been through it. And I don't feel like we're allowed to cry. So sometimes mm -hmm. we're still crying about stuff because we never got a chance to. Mm -hmm. Because you kept going. Because you have kids. Because you got to stay strong. Because you have a career. Like, those losses. We don't we don't tell. We're like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. We're so good for mm -hmm. so long. And then one day we just break. Mm -hmm. So I like to see the tears. I like to see the growth. And I'm, like, so proud of you. So we're going to light it up. Let's take a little more sip. You know, we hope you're enjoying. You know, it's a little bit heavy. But, <laughs> but we only sipping. We're not, you know, we're not numbing anything. We're just having a little delight. That's it. Let me get up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shout out to all my people who know I used to be on that jack. Um, whatever footage y'all got, he ready. Man. Somebody showed me footage of me in a casino, girl. I'm like, first of all, when I went to the casino? Well, okay. Um, girl, in... Oh my gosh, I told a guy I had five kids. I was like, baby, y'all want to take nobody. I got five kids. You know, just mm -hmm. rambling. Being silly, right. Yeah, but oh, I hope nobody don't see that. <laughs> well, now they're going to go try to. Because you like, see, girl. Good. That's <laughs> average. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I actually used to say I had a lot of kids when I had no kids too. Like if they came on too strong, I'm like, y'all got ten kids. You don't want these problems. They don't kill them older. They like, oh, I take care of ten kids. You got one of them take care. But we that's not even know that. I'm just putting that out. <laughs> okay. So how would you describe your your genre of music? My genre is mood swings. Okay. Whatever mood I'm in, that's what we swing singing. into it. Okay. All right. All right. You know. What's like one of your favorite songs to sing? Um, well, to sing, uh, I would say a Motown song. Okay. Because right now I'm deep into the Motown. I do. I'm still doing jazz and reggae and R and B, but uh, Motown has been hitting me lately. I've been okay. learning a lot from the greats. And yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can you give us like a little sample of like your favorite Motown situation? <sighs> <laughs> okay, I wish I had my afro, but right now we gonna see. Are we gonna vis envision the afro? Yes. Okay, let me see it. I see it. Yo, you cute afro. <laughs> yeah. Rock steady, baby. Mm. That's what I feel now. Hey, what? Let's call this song exactly what it is. What it is, what it is. Mm. It's a fun. Wait. It don't ain't the what it is, what it is yet. Oh, damn. I got excited. You was jamming. Oh. Damn, my fault. <laughs> we gonna do it again. Okay, fine. I go do the intro no Cue me. Cue me. Okay, I come all right. In. All I right. got you. Rock steady, baby. That's what I feel now. Hey, we gon' call this song exactly what it is. Hmm. Step and move your hips with a feeling from side to side. Hmm. Sit yourself down near your car and take a ride while you moving. Rock steady, rock steady, baby. Hmm. Let's call this song exactly what it is. What it is, what it is. Hey! Ah! <laughs> feeling. You know <laughs> thank you, thank you. We didn't even practice that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> She's like, that is not what you... I'm sorry, I'm sorry I got excited. You were jamming. This is how I know you're a musician, though, because you had to get all of the music going in the head before we start the song. Like, okay, hold on. Let me get that. And then this, this sound coming in. And then this... Okay, and then I hit a horn. All right, I'm ready to come in. Mm -hmm. That's Shout like one of my favorite songs. Yeah. I, don't judge me. I don't know the words to none of my favorite songs, so I'm okay with that. But yeah, that's, that's one of my favorite songs. It's so funky. Mm -hmm. That's what I love about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so you're not exempt. <coughs> We're still going to play a little game. It's really simple. At least I always say that. 
Okay. <laughs> no, you're just gonna tell me what you would rather as an artist. Okay. You know, see, look at that. It ain't too hard. Oh. Take your sip. Don't <laughs> <laughs> no spit. I was about to spit on you. Okay. <clears throat> would you rather um, studio session or live performance? Live performance. Okay. Small group or large audience? Large as possible. Okay, right, and hopefully pay for the tickets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, slow R and B or up tempo groovy? Depends on how I. Okay, no, the mood. No, no, no. I get it. You can give me the disclaimer. Yeah, it depends how I feel. Yeah. Okay. So sad. What if he said? Definitely nursery rhymes. Okay. Now give me an example. What you mean by nursery rhymes? Girl, lately me and the baby. Okay. We've been watching a lot of YouTube okay. nursery rhymes. And it's one, like, I never heard of it, you know, until I started watching it with him. Mm -hmm. And it's, like, so sad. The little this baby, is sad nursery rhyme? Yeah, she be like, I'm so sad, sad. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my gosh, get the baby. Why is it so sad? What's wrong with the so baby? I'm so sad. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm like, oh. And then they're like, I'm so angry. I'm like, what? Yes. <laughs> you talking about something, I know what you feel, baby. I get it. I've been angry before. So, <laughs> yeah. So know, nursery rhyme. <laughs> no, but now, not off camera, I want to know where I can find that because I have a one year old and I, I think I want to see how he uh, reacts to, <laughs> to this nursery rhyme. Okay. Would you rather a spoken word or a hip hop artist featuring on one of your songs? I could take that spoken word now. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, would old Iris rather hip hop? Cause you said now. Yeah, yeah, Probably. definitely. Last one, see, simple enough. Would you prefer a live band or a track? Live band. Yeah, yeah. That brings mm -hmm. the whole set to life, right? Yeah. Well. I will not hold you anymore. I feel like I've made you pour out so much of yourself. And I'm going to have to take you out for drinks because I've poured so much from you. But I do want to say thank you for sharing. Like, we really appreciate you. Make sure you look in the camera. Tell them where they can follow you, subscribe, like, whatever. Go okay. ahead. What's up, you guys? Right now, I'm a SoundCloud artist. I'm a Reverb Nation artist. Follow me at Iris P. New Orleans on every platform right now, like um, YouTube, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Instagram. Mm -hmm. and um, uh, shout out to G Funk Band, Billy Davies, Trio. I'm currently doing jazz and Motown with them. And you guys be on the lookout for my new music. It's mostly R and B. Okay, kind of neo soulish, y'all. I've been All right. wanting to release some thoughts and some deep feelings. Yeah. So be on the lookout for my new music. But until then, check out my music on Reverb, YouTube, and SoundCloud. Much love to everybody. Yes, yes. And before we close out, I do have a gift for you just for coming through. We appreciate it. We know as artists, you're busy. So you, if you take the time to come sit down with us, we want to say thank you. So it's a little something. Can I open this on camera? You sure can. <laughs> First of all, Iris loves t-shirts. So this is actually yes, a little more special true. than the other ones. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Look, my see? Goodness. She's going to open it and everything. Yes, please. Y'all got to check this out. Beautiful. Aww. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Thank you for real for coming in, for sharing I'll your story. Some t shirt in my. Yeah, remember that song? No. I do. I wasn't, oh, yeah. okay, I I wasn't, wasn't joining in because she wasn't fussing at me. Oh. I was going to let her have it. But I stopped because I'll take whatever she's singing. But I was like, yes. you about to play me. So I, that ain't the point. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but no, thank you so much for coming. If you guys didn't get anything else from this, you have got to know that you got to keep going, you got to keep reaching and keep surviving. Um, your name may not be Iris P, but you can definitely still do those things. Remember, no matter what comes against you, as long as you keep fighting, you cannot win. Um, and remember to stay true to your purpose. This woman is just an example of what it means to keep pushing and her music is amazing her spirit is amazing y'all make sure y'all check her out and check out everything she has going on and of course thank you for joining us we'll be back next monday with another mic check with stylus v and until next time remember never let anyone dim your light or mute your mic peace Woo!